Hello everybody, how's it going? My name is Inkais, welcome to my channel, welcome back to One Shot. Sorry about not having a video of One Shot, uh, I, I was not feeling well, I discussed it in my other uploads, in the, like yesterday's uploads, but I'm back baby! We're gonna do more, and uh, in fact this is going to be the last episode for the next two weeks. I'm gonna go away, I'm gonna be out of the country for two weeks, um, and uh, sadly, uh, this time I'm not going to have any uploads ready. Uh, I've done it before where I've gone away for like 10 days and I, you know, had 10 days worth of recording out of time, like two episodes per day, about 20 episodes recorded previously, like at least half an hour each, which was madness, and it didn't really pay off. Uh, the, the videos only got like toward the end of the, the series that I posted, they were getting like four or five views and channel didn't have any growth, so I'm leaving it up to you guys, I'm putting my trust in you. I know we're all friends and we love each other and I hope that you miss me and you won't go away and when I come back I hope that I come back with even more subscribers and more of you and uh, you know it will be the best. <laughs> Nico, I'm back. Hey Dara. Welcome back. Alright, so we have the elevator dilemma. I was thinking maybe... Wait, where is... What is over here again? Maybe I've never been here before? No, I've been here before, I think. Yeah, I've been here before. It's this dude. Yo, dude. Is there anything else that he can help me with? Um, look, it even says ground on it. <laughs> well, I don't think this guy can help me with anything. So we're gonna get out of here. It's gonna be a little bit of back and forth and exploration again. Until we find out what we're supposed to do. Maybe let me go talk to that guardian robot of the sacred sacred gardens or whatever maybe she has something more hello again Masai. do you need help well hmm. nothing has happened here Did I try the tube of water on it? I think I did, but let's try it one more time. Yeah, it doesn't work. Um, hmm. What else can we do? Where else can we go? Can I go back? Is there a point to going back? I don't want to go back. Interesting. Alright, fair enough. I can relate to not wanting to go back. So I say, how about we go back to like the apartments? I'm just checking around here because this is like my only option, basically. button. It's nothing. Alright. Hmm. Kind of confusing. It's the first time that I'm finding myself actually not sure where to go or what to do. there. Um. Yeah, nothing there either. I don't think I can do anything with her. 
yeah, these are like dot interactions. you nothing with you either I doubt that there's anything I can do with this sheep okay nothing there it's like my last hope yo dude Help me out, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Hey, man. Scarf talk. Nothing there. Oh. These bookshelves are not movable in any sort of way. Man, I am I am stomped here. I don't know. I'm assuming this other What about this one? I don't... I don't know. I... am not sure. Dude. That just, just shows the film. Every time I just press on anything on that, it just shows it. Um... Okay. Wait, what about in here? Just a trash can? Alright. Well, mm, I don't know. Did I try all the pathways? I, I did, didn't I? This one's like simply blocked. Yeah. What about... Do you know anything about this? Do you know anything about... This? Do you know anything about... <sighs> I'm trying, man! I'm trying! I don't know. I have no idea.
he doesn't want any of these. Um, hmm. Hold on, I'm gonna pause and see if I can figure it out. Okay, I actually forgot about this place. I might. I'm back in this is a top right pathway they, they came to this clock lady time is precious do cherish it I will so let me just try interactions with her nothing here I've been wandering for a while now. Is there anything I can do with this? No. Um, hmm. We're here again. City, city skyline. Hmm. I am extremely lost and confused. I should have done this in the first place. <gasps> oh, I just had to use tape to keep the tape button. We did it, boys. We did it. Is there anything else I need to do? I don't think so. Let's go, let's go! Oh! Come on. Oh my god, it works! What?! Oh. Oh, come on, come on, C come on! Reactivating elevator services. Please input security code to continue. Oh, 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 I have this code. I have this code. I have this code. Huh? You saw them. You saw them, right? They were on the door, and. Oh, nah, the square stuff happens all the time. I mean, the whole security code thing. I mean, the whole security code thing, but then again, the elevator hasn't been this broken before. Hmm. I guess we should go look for a code, Dara. I have the code. I have the code. We have the code. Please input security code to continue. 63014. Voila, mister. What? It works. I don't know what you did, but it actually works. Mm -hmm. Good job, kid. You're genius, you know that? Well, I, I had help from Dara, too. Alright. The whole Messiah business. Anyway, you ready to go? I'll... I'll Head up ahead. Let's go! Oh, thank you for holding the elevator door for, open for me, mister. No problem, hop in. Whew. Wow. Yep. Sure, it's taking a while. Mm hmm. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm stuck in an elevator with the Messiah and also literally got themselves, and this is awkward. 
Uh, maybe we can chat to pass the time then. Did you heard me? I mean, sure. All right, Dar. Should I? Um. Ask about the library. Can you tell me about the library? I'm supposed to go there. Oh yeah, it's one of my main delivery spots. Uh, those reading lights are pretty high maintenance, but I always feel out of place surrounded by smart people. Well, I guess you're pretty smart yourself, so you'll fit fit in fine. You and Dara. Hi, Dara. Should I ask him about his job? So, what do you do at your job? You seem really busy. I uh, I fix lights mostly, but now I also deliver and refill high energy phosphor to structures that need them. High energy? You know, the super concentrated glowy stuff they had to process in factories. It's what powers most of the city stuff. Ooh. We used to have a small army of delivery robots doing that, but lately a bunch of them have been breaking down, so until they fix them, I'll just have more work on my plate. I haven't slept in so long. When will the robots get fixed? I have no idea. It's all up to the scientists over the, at the labs, but they seem really concerned about something else lately. Oh? Never a good sign when even the smart folk are worried. Alright, Dara, should I ask him about the city? The city is very big. Smaller than it looks. Getting pretty crowded, too. Uh, first, there were there was the refugees from the barons, and now more clan folks are moving in, too. Oh? Which is safer here, you know? I mean, it's not a haven by any means. That's square stuff just, that we just saw. We get more of that here than anywhere else, apparently. I noticed. We're lucky it only seems to affect the city's infrastructure. The land mass itself is still holding up, which is good, since there isn't much solid land here in the first place. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, uh, Nico. Right, see you around, kid. Get run now. Whoa. He seems in a hurry. I guess we should hurry too, Dara? People are counting on us. Let's go find that library. Yours. Beep boop. Beep boop. Street lamps, man. Where did he go? I want to go the opposite way. Beep boop. Beep boop. Whoa. There are people here. Actual people here. You alright? Ah, uh, the Messiah, perhaps as a sign. Tell me, do you think you can fix the world with the sun? Honestly, I don't know. I've been getting mixed messages. I know. But what do you think? I... think... I think I should listen to Dara! After all, Dara helped you get this far. I will take your faith for an answer then. What do you mean by that? It means whatever you think it means. Weirdo. You sighing again? I mean, the arrows say go up there, but should one? Let's go down here. Where am I going? Oh my god! Hello, person! The library is up ahead! Thank you. Whoa. But it will end. Would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. To be honest, I'd rather the world not end. But we're gonna experience the heat death of the universe regardless very soon. By very soon, I mean in trillions of billions of years. What are you doing? The author's book cover covers a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he does not write about. Quite the renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say the city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Oh. Uh, that's depressing. What? Uh, I, I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me, Dan. I was just looking at your book. 
yes, you're in the library. There are, there's books in the library. Um, go bug the chatty one upstairs. Hello, chatty one. Oh, hello, do you need directions? Let's see, this area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. It's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh, are you here to look for the author then? No. Oh, that's good. I mean, that, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months and I've never seen him, not even once. He works together with the head librarian and publishing, so you think he would at least show up once in, in a while? But he doesn't. Yeah, he seems kinda reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe he's just around people. I mean, I don't think many people have, have ever seen him in person, or know what he looks like. Everyone's heard of him through secondhand hand accounts, though. But, oh, but he did reply to my letter that one time. I got it framed immediately. Nice. Weird. Uh, a computer is currently turned off. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Dara. Yo, kid. I guess that's why the library is always so packed. And this is a slow day, mind you. A photo of some people. Oh, some people, man. Some sort of plaque. People. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Yep, still scared of ladders. Reshelving in progress. A computer. Which is also turned off. Why are the computers not working here? Oh, what? Hello? Whoa. It's a binocular head. The other is so cool. I already can travel all over the world with a flying machine. That's how he gathers material for his books. Wow! Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. No sections. Uh, how come? Because otherwise, don't think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I don't even see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everyone will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before this. Oh. Oh. I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over yourself. That's that, that guy's got major talent, but it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. <laughs> Even though I'm a person and cats are pets and, and mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. Heh, <laughs> I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Well, I think I changed at least half a book's worth of content, and even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being a, called a cat isn't all that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. Well, he's not a copycat cat now. Okay. Did I look at this picture? It is a photo of some plants. Plants and people. Excuse me. Oh, you are the messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody. Well, uh, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. She is not big enough. <laughs> is she not here? She is here. She is in uh, the archive archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all uh, phone calls for several days. Yikes. 
Can you go get it in person then? Leaving the spot is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the server behind me. Gotcha, thanks. Cool. Alright. Okay. Coffee machine. Coffee is for grown-ups. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library card required for further access. I don't have a library card though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Wait, no, no, no! Don't! 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 Oh, no, I can't. I can't even skip this. <laughs> I can't skip this! <laughs> She's not picking up. I figured. Are you sure you can't just let me through? Letting you through without a library card is against my programming. Uh, even an emergency? Even an emer even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. <sighs> okay. Who are you? Oh my third cup! I can feel my limbs! Um but I have to stay awake! I need to find out how this book ends. Um Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers. God dang it. Books are need to place on the shelves. Computer. Oh god. I know, I know, I know. Okay, we need... Oh. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says a com comprehensive guide to the phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original brightness. Chapter 5, a survey of phosphors found in the natural world. Blue phosphor, location of barons. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is most... is... is is of moderate levels of energy. It can exist in both organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in a phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light emission of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines and motor, should be set at baseline level of activity to ensure constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor location in Glen. Uh, out of the three common, out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is of the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. A known source include known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is present in the ubiquitous or ubiqu ubiquitous ground covering moss in the gland. It is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use, however, due to its relative sacredity or scarcity, I mean, not sacredity, <laughs> scarcity and past over harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the Glen still have enough to get by. And we have the rest fo red phosphor in the refuge. Out of the common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy, which is here in the city. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated and induced with currents. Oh, the pink water. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that the phosphor in this super saturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using super saturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. What up, kids? Pothead. So, what do you think about the author? I don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. I don't know. It's a book club. What are you? The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh, they're big compendiums. You'll see them if you look around. Kind of different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. 
help me out. Girl? The author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there is still a large amount of material he has written, but not yet published. One cannot help out to wonder where he can get so much done in so little time. I do the calculations and the numbers simply do not add up. Maybe he... blah blah blah, no such mechanic exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? No, I just saw it in a movie once. I don't know what I skipped. About superheroes and stuff. I haven't seen any superheroes in this world. Saw a lot of robots though. Well, I guess robots are more plausible than superpowers. True. Maybe he has a superpower that allows him to write a lot, is maybe what she said. And what Nico said. Get, get me through. I need to talk to TV head, boy. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Wow, this guy, this kid's voice is really... Oh! Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! Your voice, though. You might want to see a throat specialist. Because it's a little rather too disturbingly deep. Some sort of plaque. Hmm. So we need to backtrack and figure out what else is going on here. Uh, but... Yeah, we have, we have the right side, we have the left side, we have the downside, we have every side. Thank you so much for your time and attention, guys. I will see you guys in two weeks. Don't worry, I won't be gone forever. I'll come back unless my plane crashes or, I don't know, anything else crazy like that happens. But for now, thank you for your time and attention. Make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And, yeah. I'll, I'll see you guys later. I'm going to miss you. But I'll be back. It'll be fine. Goodbye.